Hello, Gemini. How are you doing? I just let some cedar on the parks a little bit. Ooh. Okay, um, sorry for the late start. Is there any impatient Gemini's out there? Just gonna light this a little bit more. It's still a little bit wet. I just made this smudge stick. Um, this is your general love reading for May 2017. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance. Um, <clears throat> let me start off by saying I feel like the month of May will be interesting for you guys. I don't know if it'll be good or bad, but I might feel like it'll be very interesting. One moment. Sorry, my, my dog walked out here and I don't know. You may not like that I walk away for a little bit, but you also probably wouldn't want to hear scratching at the door for the entire time of filming either. So, alright. Just again. Um what I typically do for terror readings as I need here is I have a traditional right away deck and I also have a traditional right away deck but it has its reverse and upper knees on it. So at the end of the reading, I will generally pull one out of here for a oracle type card for advice. Um, and sometimes I'll go through them if I'm not sure about a meeting or something and I'll need to figure that out. So if that kind of bothers you throughout, I'm sorry, but I want to give you the most accurate type of reading, the most helpful reading. Um, it would be very helpful for you to watch your Sun Moon Ascendant video. And um, also with that. I will say, let's just say, we, we, we are going through quite a few retrogrades at the minute, um, which is kind of something. So, with the Mercury retrograde, it may, wow, I'm trying not to make this a shaky video, I'm deeply sorry. Um, so with the retrograde, it might have affected you quite a bit. Um, and, because I mean, Gemini is traditionally ruled by Mercury. So, but don't let your, don't let uh, your doomed feeling of what's going on to affect you, but you may have um, experienced some car troubles or communication have, or troubles with a significant other, anything like that. And if this video's lighting is, looks ridiculous, I look better on my so, I'm going to look at the Gemini, May 2017, Sun, Moon, and Sun. Love reading for Gemini, May 2017. Oh, And I generally do a Celtic cross reading as well. Ooh, a lot of reverses. Let me 
of my water. <laughs> like I said, powerful, powerful reading for you guys. Um, yeah, I, be prepared for me to take a little bit to go through the deck. Alright, so let's just start off here. See how this lighting ends up turning out. I don't want to look. Yeah. Alright, it's all good. Lighting's either washing me out or making me look more. It's like, I'm just in between tan, I'm like, I'm not either, I'm not too brown, I'm not too orange. It makes my eyes look really blue. Oh, and if you're like, why are you such a crazy looking background? Well, I'm in storage room right now. Um, cause I don't want to see my room. So, that's just kind of how it's going to be for this reading. So, bear with me on that. Um, providing more pleasant background. There would be more a pleasant background for you guys. So let's get started because you guys are probably already impatient and I'll probably die a little bit. So, your annoying energy is magician. So you have the ability, let's say in general, not so much love, um, you have the ability to make anything happen that's not what you want to, whether it, you know, it's bad or good or whatever you primarily focus on, that would be what happens for you. You can also transcend whatever going on and get through it. So, yeah, the magician. Alright. <clears throat> now, a little reference to the spread. <laughs> um, your present position is the page of cups. Man, you're blooming with love, your love is blossoming in your life, self love, loving other people, kind of. Well, that's going for you. Um, you, like, Alright, Mars Air, or Aries, Sun, Moon, or Moon. You notice I actually didn't care a little bit, so I don't feel crap because I'm about to prison. Um, yeah, so, I mean, present position is just lots of love, relationships are feeling, it's all doing good. Now, your current influences is the world in reverse. And normally, let me look over here at my, my thing you did. Normally, this means completion, victory, achievement, and affirmation. Well, currently, I'd say it's probably the opposite of that. Um, there's, there's, um, you're not achieving anything. You're not completing anything. You're kind of at a standstill. Nothing's really going your way. Um, nothing new is really seems like it's coming in for you. But, you know, let me... I really wish I could fix this lighting for you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, like it's it's driving me crazy. She's not the viewfinder. <laughs> not the camera, it's left out. Um yeah, let me pick this card out of here and kinda of tell you what it says. Oh, oh my gosh, quickly, right on top. It says for reverse it says No, just kidding, that's the wheel of fortune. <laughs> Alright. It says no energy, loss of momentum. Okay, so I said standstill, so I wasn't wrong with interpreting it. So it says goals have been forgotten. Review and set new ones. You underestimate your own abilities and lack of vision, fear of change or travel to success. Yeah. <laughs> success and happiness. To attach to your current job or residence, you are in you are inflexible and must respond to changing circumstances. So basically, what that card said, um, wow, light situation is quite intense. Like in the sub part is, I even tried to block out the windows. <laughs> that really didn't do anything. So. See, I just went from orange to white. Maybe it's my background. Hmm. Alright. Yes, 
basically what that says. Um, you're full of, you're, you Alright, let's just move on. I'm all scatterbrained. I just ate. Goal or destiny? Um, well, I would say your goal is probably be respected and to have confidence and to be strategic and the kind of, you know, know what you're doing. Um, yes. And then, your influence or distant past is the loss of a job, the loss of financial stability, the loss of perhaps an earth sign. Um, and how this is kind of affecting your love situation, like, I, I would definitely say that fear of trying to move forward in your relationship and to better it, um, and the not of doing that, not doing that, it's definitely affecting your relationship negatively. I'll say that. And then the Knight of Swords is in the position of recent past events. So maybe you found out something you didn't want to know. Um maybe someone from the past came back to tell you something or be in your life. Maybe it's an air sign. Um Sun Moon Ascendant, Libra Aquarius Gemini. Um Swift Thoughts, uh, swift communication, swift travel, um, something that was out of nowhere that you had to go do or was said or something unexpected coming towards you. In the past. Um, and now for here we have the nine of cups. So, and and that is in the position of the future influences. You're gonna be fulfilled in love. Um. You know, I, I I think that's, you know, the beginning of the completion of love. Like, you're ready, you're set to go, you have all the stuff. Um, but you have to demand change in your relationship, and you have to demand respect in your relationship in order to get that fulfillment in your love that is being predicted and that you would wish to have, if that makes sense. <sighs> The light shining in the sand. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. And then, for your present attitude is the, what is this? Seven of Swords, right? Three. Eight. Eight of Swords? Okay. The swords. I'm really bad with the numerals. I should be allowed to lose it. Um, alright. How do we. I want to show you this type of card. You see, okay, so swords represent thoughts. Okay, communication. Um, more or less thoughts, so and the situation in the card. And she's sitting there blindfolded and tied up. And she can't really. She thinks that she's trapped. Okay, so the thoughts are driving her, her, whatever she's thinking of is like, she's making it worse than what it seems, but in reality, if she just looked at things from a different perspective and take her blindfold off, that she would actually realize that it's not as bad as what it seems, and she can actually get out of it. So, this is your present attitude, and I would say your present attitude is you think everything's going to be pretty bad, like you being very pessimistic, like you think you're your work and your love and everything it's not going to work out, you have a pessimistic attitude about it and you think you're trapped where you are and, there, and there's nothing, there's nothing you can do. Okay, this is what you think. You think that there's nothing you can do to change the other person who you're talking to or who you're with or the situation, the circumstances surrounding some of the unhealthy behavior perhaps in your relationship. Okay? Um, and so with this, and it's saying like lack of change, stagnation. Okay, you're you're feeling like there's a lack of change and stagnation in your relationship. But if you change your perspective a little bit, you would actually realize that your 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 love and everything is much more fulfilling than what you think it is. Okay, for eight is your environmental influences. Um, so this could mean a journey, like an actual journey by water, this could be traveling, this could be getting out in nature, um, 
your environment, it would it definitely be um your environment in itself it's it is its own problem in Germany. Like it's not making you feel great. Um perhaps there's a loss in your environment, like someone is at a loss or maybe someone is traveling and you miss them, anything like that. It could be your significant other, it could actually be you. Um yes. Now for your innermost emotions we have wow. Um we have the six of swords, right? It's one, two, three, four, six, seven of swords. So seven of swords. We have the seven of swords. So what this is kind of telling me, wow, look, we have them all in order. You see this? Yes. Yeah. Um, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Um, what this is kind of telling me is your innermost emotions are you're trying. You know what? We're just gonna look at this at this other part because me trying to interpret that's gonna come up as gibberish, and you know, I'm trying to make this make sense to you, not be trying to decipher what I'm saying. Oh, and this kind of comes up because eight is your environmental influences, and it says problems, unfavorable judgments, and a lawsuit, unwanted marriage proposals, um, overwhelmed by crisis, you feel unable to cope day to day with problems. So your environment's making it very hard to cope with the problems in your relationship. Um, but it, it says things, the future will be better than the present, things will eventually work out. Travel or journey is possible by the way. Okay? Now we're gonna probably need that card. Uh -huh. Alright, so this this card, let me just start off by normal. It either means running away from your problems or literal theft, like you're stealing something and you're getting away with it. You got away with it. To me this card screams trickery, whether by you or by someone else. So reverse, it says you will question your own actions or judgment. Your confidence will be shaken by coming events, arguments, and opposition to your plans are Encountered responsibilities will have you in your mind. A price will be paid for facing up to your responsibilities and keeping those and you will experience a loss that cannot be avoided. So your innermost emotions are pessimism and your innermost emotions is your questioning everything you're doing. You're, you're questioning <coughs> your relationship, you're questioning your finances, okay? You're 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 questioning the things around you because you know, things aren't probably going great for you, and you know, maybe they are, not everyone's the same, um, but it, it seems that no matter, you know, how you try to change things, how many things you do to have money, and the relationship is very tied into that too, um, which I feel everyone says whenever I do readings, but it could be because we're just getting out of the shadow of the Venus retrograde, and you know, we're in a Mercury retrograde, lots of retrogrades, um, it kind of sucks, but, you know, um, but you're, you're questioning everything around you, and, you know, maybe, maybe you question your relationship and your job and everything to the point where, you know, you actually lose that, you lose your foundation of what you had, and you're overwhelmed by your crisis in your life. Um, but I would try to be pop, be be optimistic because what I'm saying here is that the future will be better than what it is now. You may you may lose this person you're with, but it may be better. Or if you continue to stop, if you stop being pessimistic and you stop thinking everything's wrong in the relationship, everything's wrong with your mental health, they're all those kind of staying interconnected. Um, 
then you may have a better time, your future may be better for you as long as you stay patient and you stay calm and you just let whatever happens and whatever flows and things seem stagnant, you know, they're stagnant now, but the, the, in the future they will not be and things will be changing drastically for you. Alright, and you know, your, your underlying energy is, what I said was good or bad, so let me say, if you think something bad's going to happen and you, you think that your relationship is bad for you and your finances are bad for you, then you know it's going to come to fruition exactly what you didn't want to. And if you think something, if you think it's all positive and you try to be patient, then whatever happens will be the best that, will be the best thing that happens and is what is meant to happen and is meant to help you. And then your last card is the four pentacles in reverse. So this tells me your your stability and your foundations, probably with money, are being shaken up. Um, maybe you, you maybe the house you're in is getting the word um, you're getting kicked out of your house, or your living situation is changing drastically, which is affecting your relationship, or perhaps the the very foundation of your relationship, trust, and those types of things are being shaken up. But this card says, guard your possessions so someone may try to separate you from your money. Possible theft or embezzlement, lack of control over events and circumstances. Change the world around you. you will, the change will happen in the future, and it, it will happen very swiftly and very fast. Things may seem stagnant now. The world around you and will happen whether you like it or not. Poor chances for fruition, someone may cheat you out of payment. So I'm I'm saying you're looking at deceit um, of some sort. So it could be in a relationship. It could be from an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, um, or Virgo. Yes, yeah, Virgo. Um, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Um, for for instance, if you are a salesman, right, and you're selling something, and maybe you and your partner are invoking on that or invoking um just Going on that venture to um, going on that venture to try to you know be more financially stable in a relationship, and then something crappy happens. Either you know they do something, they place some money, they count some money, or someone that you're um, selling to kind of screws you over. Which and and you know and it could be considered your fault, right? Your partner may really try to blame this on you, and that will put tons of stress on your relationship. So. Um, I'm you know I I get I get that, but for your future, but I also I also get this too. Much fulfillment and love. So I'd say if you think something if if you think everything's against you and the odds are against you, nothing's changing, then you know nothing will change and things will go against you. I I would just try to say it's optimistic, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull like an oracle type of card from here for you. Gemini. I guess we'll have to send this to my friend who will see that for quite a bit. It's awesome. Should be interesting. Um, yeah, so. Ooh, no. Brian Universe, is there any advice you would like to give to Gemini to the month of May? The love, 2017. So it's the card I had. It's the card you already kind of have on the board. It says, "You will question your own actions or judgment. The confidence will be shaken by coming events, arguments, and opposition to your plans or encounter. Responsibilities weigh heavily on your mind. A price will be paid for facing up to your responsibilities and keeping your word." You will experience a loss that cannot be avoided. Financial loss will affect your relationship. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull another because that really wasn't clear to me. Brian, universe, do you have any advice or messages for Gemini? May 2017. Okay.
I don't know why I should think about it. So, in your revenge, someone is trying to get even with you. You lost some material possessions, so the moral, the moral path is not taken. You're getting a reputation as an underhanded and undependable. Recognize your part in your own failure. Accept responsibility for errors. And ability to compromise through conflict. Okay. So, if something happens in your financial life that affects your relationship, you need to acknowledge what you did wrong, and only what you did wrong. Don't acknowledge, don't take blame for things that you didn't do. But make sure you acknowledge what you did do. Or, you know, maybe you're both fighting and you say something you know, you probably should have or something. You know, take knowledge what you did wrong. Um, you know, that will make them understand that, you know, you understand their perspective and their side of the thing. Um, and you need to compromise on them for a change in the future in order to achieve the state of bliss and happiness, you need to compromise on what you guys can do different together. Okay? So, yes, Gemini, this is your um, general love rating for May 2017. I hope this was helpful for you. I know this was kind of all over the place. Um, I did not mean for it to be. I need to, like, meditate a little bit. Before I do these readings, um, Try to, but I, you know, I just got done eating it. It's like, well, hey, you know, might as well do my hair and film this reading, so my mind wasn't as full as it might have been. But I also do suggest watching the videos for your ascendant and moon signs, so you, you really have a more accurate forecast for May 2017 regards to them. Alright? Um, comment, rate, subscribe, like this video if this was helpful. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this and stay updated in the future when I upload new videos. Alright, thank you for watching, Gemini.